Hi friends, good morning everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. I hope you are enjoying with our new whiteboard videos where the business processes are explaining with real time examples. If you really feel that uh, there are some improvements are required for these whiteboard videos, please provide your valuable comments. And if you really like the video, express the same thing because that will be helpful for me and as an encouragement to make more videos and to think different kind of business scenarios. In this video, we are going to discuss about the consignment procurement business process. Consignment procurement. Actually, there is a customer consignment is also there. But anyway, once you use the word called procurement, we can conclude that it's a vendor consignment. Okay. Consignment procurement. So the companies will go for a consignment procurement uh, based on the different reasons. For example, a vendor can give or agree for a consignment procurement with the customer with the benefit of, I have a customer who is buying my thousand pieces at once. He will utilize for sure in the next one month or two months or three months. So the thousand pieces, my business is completed. I don't have to run for multiple customers to sell 20 pieces, 30 pieces, 100 pieces like that. That is the benefit to your customer. But he has to bear that I'm thousand pieces I need to buy or make if he has a manufacturing company but I need to wait for the final payment of all the materials, maybe three months or four months or five months. Because few customers may say that I will consume the stock for um, six months or five months or three months. So that kind of uh, negative, for if you are uh, borrowing money from a bank and you are making the product and you are waiting from the customer for four months, are you in that position, financial position to bear that kind of a thing? The vendor has to decide. Okay, so vendor will take those kind of uh, precautions of those kind of uh, points before he agree for a consignment procurement with the customer, with his customer. And what as a company, what is the benefit for my consignment procurement? Whenever I need 50 pieces, 100 pieces, I don't have to create a purchase order or I don't have to ship, the shipping charges are more. Because you know, right, if you are buying a thousand pieces from a customer, as a customer, if you're buying 1000 pieces from your vendor, he will give you shipping mostly for free or else very less charges and 1000 pieces will come to your warehouse and you can use whenever you want. And also the benefit here is you don't have to pay money for 1000 pieces. You will pay whenever you use 50 pieces, you pay for 50. You use 200 pieces, you will pay for the 200 pieces. That those are all the benefits to your company. What are the not negatives, consequences kind of thing? You must have enough space to store your thousand pieces. Do you have that much space? And who will bear about this space charges? For example, you know, right, if you take any warehouse, always they will have a challenge for the space, how much space they have, and they have to pay the rental. They may, most of the warehouses may not have their own space. So for thousand pieces to store for four months or six months, how much you are spending per square feet per month and who will bear those charges. So during this consignment procurement agreement, there will be those negotiations also. I'm going to store your material and if there is some damage, who will bear it? Because the, still the owner is vendor, right? So who has to bear it? If there is a damage, physical damage happened or something, the forklift has hit that product and uh, there is a bending happened or else the product is damaged. All these things, they will agree together. So if it is a physical damage, a company has to pay and if it is a, some quality issue, vendor has to pay or else 50-50 we will negotiate. All these things they have to think if, before they finalize about the consignment procurement. As a consultant, if you don't think about much things, you may think directly, what is consignment procurement? Yeah, info record is mandatory because the price will come there and then create a purchase order, then goods received, no accounting entries. After that, uh, Whenever they want, they can do 411k to transfer to one stock or else they can directly consume with 201k to Ignis cost center. 
then MR cable settlement after that payment. This is what we always uh, discuss or we always tell in the interviews or the process wise. But before finalizing the consignment procurement, there will be a lot of negotiations because you are storing your thousand pieces at the customer place, but still you are the owner. If someone has stolen one piece, who is responsible? And if there is a physical damage, who is responsible? If the quality issues, who is responsible? Are we going to insure? Who will pay that insure, insurance? Because always they keep the product as insurance. Because if there is a physical damage or quality issues and uh, the insurance person can pay that amount. So before you initiate a respective process, always there will be multiple negotiations between the vendor and the customer. Who will pay the insurance and who will pay uh, uh, damaging charges. All those stuff need to be considered. So let's start about the normal process. Once they have finalized the pros and consequences and finally they have decided to go for consignment procurement. So here there are mainly two parties. There will be not much parties here. One is company. Another one is the vendor. We call it like a Consign. Okay, well, let's find that consignment vendor. Okay, let me use the word vendor itself. You know. Okay, so we have a vendor and a company. So when the company and vendor both are available, so first, what is the process initiation? The consignment purchase order will be created. Purchase order will be created and sent to vendor. So this purchase order, we know that item category K, consignment and uh, purchase order is sent to the vendor and uh, as a technical SAP consultant, purchase info record is mandatory because consignment PO will not have the price. So they have to create the first uh, prerequisite PAR, consignment PAR needs to be created for those materials. So the PO and the PO is sent to the vendor, then vendor will send you the goods so the vendor will send you the goods so we receive it gr okay so goods is it we always know this one 101k so the stock will come to the company so they may have the physical warehouse so the physical warehouse looks like this you see the consignment area okay they can keep an area called consignment area where this entire stock will be stored that they will store here so whenever the company needs okay whenever the company needs they just do the transfer to own stock the moment that we know 411k transfer posting transfer to own once the stock is transferred then they do the invoice settlement invoice settlement in a transaction case is a mrko here there is no invoice receipt concept we have to settle it because we already consumed the material or we have taken to our own stock so invoice settlement then do the payment to vendor only for the stock which is moved for that stock only we do the payment to the vendor this is the way how the consignment process happened and here what are the benefit you are taking the bulk quantity so that shipping charges are very less and uh, the procurement charges the process for example someone has to create the PO and negotiate with vendor or talk to vendor when the materials are getting received then again 10 pieces 100 pieces 200 pieces multiple times goods received they are checking the invoice copy checking that um, the packing slip details to the received and keep it in the consignment area the entire procurement process time can be saved shipping charges can be saved okay the benefits to the company okay let's take it that company benefit they can uh, have shipping charges less less shipping charges and um, 
low procurement charges correct right because uh, they don't have to spend much time for the procurement even low stores stores charges or something because the receiving everything they can store okay these all the benefits they can say but a little bit favor or a cont kind of thing and uh, they need to have a proper insurance they should have a proper insurance and uh, storage charges they have to properly negotiate with the vendor who will pay the storage charges and all these are all positive i cannot say negative but yeah kind of um, points you need to take care otherwise uh, insurance you have to take a proper insurance if any physical damage happen or anything who will bear and how to manage those things and storage charges who will manage the storage charges if your material is going to be for four months or five months uh, how you are going to vendor and uh, this one insurance if any other uh, handling handling or handling damages or anything happen so the company's forklift person has hit the material and it was damaged in that case who will bear it the vendor uh, will say that if it is physical damage i cannot say that it is you have to take it so you have to take your charge and you do this scrapping but you have to pay to me the full amount so this kind of negotiations will happen so based on that they will do it handling damages are quite common during uh, warehouse because of multiple kind of uh, forklift will move here and there and then they can do that this is the way uh, how a consignment procurement happens so the, the benefits and all for company the vendor wise if you say the benefits and all you can see uh, the vendor will get fixed customer for use quantities you have a fixed customer who is buying a thousand pieces per month okay it's not like um, make to uh, stock and making and you are waiting for the customer you have a fixed customer that is a benefit and less shipping charges for him also benefit right every time he is sending and asking for that one the company should not pay you the much shipping charges he can collaborate with a big transporter to send this thousand pieces of three trucks or two trucks okay so little bit uh, negative okay negative means uh, like i said is don't positive or negative kind of pros and cons investment because he is sending 1000 pieces on day 1 but he is waiting for the payment till day 150 or day 130 okay maybe small small payments he will get it whenever they use 100 pieces 200 pieces but um, they are getting this slow slow payment so the vendor is in a financial condition to pay that kind of uh, delay in the payment that they have to take care and of course uh, they need to actually this insurance and uh, damage handling for example if it is in uh, in his warehouse still he has to do the insurance and all so it doesn't make much difference but in case of here maybe the insurance uh, the company has tie up with some insurance company from that they have to do maybe little bit negotiations and all they have to do you know right any warehouse they have to do the insure uh, the entire product if any uh, burning happen or any kind of uh, big accident happen firing happen at that point of time they cannot lose everything always they have to make insurance of the, all the products and the warehouse and all if something issue happen then uh, they can get get back to that so that's why the insurance is uh, very important nowadays uh, any accident or anything happen even for people or a product we always need to take care of those things so yeah they have to keep a investment and insurance and damage handling uh, if the company says that we need a handling da damages if it is uh, 30 percentage i will bear and if it is fully then you have to bear so those kind of negotiations everything they have to take care but if it is their own warehouse then um, they may not uh, they can da have their own policies okay another one is uh, the storage charges for example storage charges 
the company may ask for huge amount of storage charges for example to store per square feet he is generally he is spending five dollar but here they are asking for eight dollar okay so that kind of uh, things also they have to take care so little bit that is the thing like how they can decide the uh, procurement and uh, what are the different type of processes can happen i hope this video has given you enough understanding what all happen in the back end before they finalize respective process and what are the benefits to your company and what are the benefits to the vendor i hope i tried to explain and i try to give uh, enough examples based on my experience if you really like the video keep sharing our videos and provide your comment if you want to have any improvement please provide your valuable comment without any hesitation i will take it as a positive and um, keep sharing thanks for watching have a good day